In this video, we will learn the impact of decrease in taxes on the GDP and we will also derive the tax multiplier here. The question is, when marginal propensity to consume in an economy is equal to 0.7 for you, a decrease in taxes by $20 million will decrease GDP by how many millions? We need to find out. Options are being given as 20 million, 40 million, 60 million or 100 million. Okay. So before we solve this, first let us try to derive the tax multiplier because we will be applying the tax multiplier in yeah you know in finding the effect of a decrease in tax on the gdp okay so uh, as we know that and let me be specific here our national income identity is that is total income is either used for consumption purposes or it is used for investment or for government spending okay we know this uh, relationship very well Consumption we know consumption is equal to the autonomous consumption plus B denotes the marginal propensity to consume times the disposable income. Okay, and also we know that disposable income is that part of income. Okay, so we subtract from the total income the tax. Okay, so when we subtract the taxes from the total uh, you know income, we get the disposable income. With this, uh, you know, scenario, our GDP, uh, rather the national income identity will become, so in place of C, we have A plus B Y subscript D. So we have A plus B Y subscript D. Okay. Plus we have investment, which is autonomous and government expenditure, which is, which is also autonomous here. Now solving further, we will get, so Y will be equal to, we have A plus B. And we know that disposable income is, has this relationship with the tax. That means in place of Y subscript D, I can write Y minus D. Then we have the I and G here. Okay. Solving further. So we will get Y is equal to A plus B into Y is BY. Then we have B into minus T is minus BT uh, plus I plus G. Okay. Now let's transpose this by to or uh, rather LHS. So we will get Y minus BY is equal to A. Then we have minus BT uh, plus I plus G. Let's take Y common. So we will be left with 1 minus B is equal to A minus BT plus I plus G. Now, dividing both sides by y, y minus, rather 1 minus B, we will get Y will be equal to A divided by 1 minus B. Then we have minus B T divided by 1 minus B. Then we have plus I divided by 1 minus B plus G divided by 1 minus B. Okay. Now we can solve the question and we can find out the tax multiplier now we need to find out the effect of the change in tax on the total gdp that simply means we want to find out the change in the income due to change in tax that means we take the de uh, partial derivative rather the differential with respect to tax here okay so since t is here the derivative of t will be one and in the first term since no t is involved its derivative is zero in the third term, no T is involved. Again, its derivative is zero. And in the last term also, T is only in the second term and derivative of T will be one. So we will be left with minus B divided by one minus B. This is our tax multiplier. And where this B denotes the marginal propensity to consume. Now, now we have the question that tells us MPC is equal to MPC is equal to 0 0.75 okay we are being told that a decrease in taxes okay by decrease in taxes i can write del t since it is the decrease in tax i can write here minus 20 million dollar okay we need to find the impact on the income that is del y okay so we are being told when the taxes decreases by 20 million dollar uh, uh, gdp will so here it should be you know increase okay by how much amount will gdp increase when 
taxes decrease by 20 million dollars okay we need to find out the by how much amount will the gdp increase so del y divided by del t is minus 20 okay is equal to minus b denoted the mpc which is 0 0.75 divided by 1 minus 0 0.75 solving del y divided by minus 20 will be equal to minus 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.25 which implies del y uh, divided by minus 20 is equal to 25 ones are 25 three, three are so we will get minus 3 here that means del y will be equal to transposing this it will get multiplied so we have minus 3 times minus 20 which implies the gdp will increase by 60 million dollars when the taxes has decreased by 20 million dollars i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you